Hello guys, I'm Saganet Matt and today we have another video, a very very quick one. Thank you all the members, thank you all the patrons, make sure to subscribe, trying to hit 50,000 subscribers until the end of the year. And let's hop in. So yeah, we are going to fly it out a little bit of the Tornado IDS again on a custom battle to actually test a little bit more, okay? I did a video talking about the changes, but I really wanted to test a little bit more to see if I, if I can actually kill something uh with these missiles uh it is i don't know it just feels even worse right now and yeah they change it some of the things as you see here even the stats of it are a little bit changed and also um apparently the love thing capabilities the autopilots they are changing i think they are just messing around to be prepared for when uh more anti-ship missiles are coming so everything is work in progress i think but still it's something very weird and let's just check one thing yeah the <laughs> the funny part is that the asta even though it received the same engine as the uh the marine flicker version it has a little bit more of a climb rate because for some reason this version has more weight to it let's compare to the to the, uh, the the italian one yeah, the italian the italian one is even worse but it's the same engine. How is it worse? What? What? I mean, yeah, whatever. Uh, let's go for a custom battle to try try to use these missiles in a certain way. So we are here in this match. Uh, I tried to edit some to add some like um, some bots that will respawn, so th that we can actually try to kill like properly modeled ships and not just normal ships. Uh, that are like AI ships, you know. Let's see, patrol ship. I mean, yeah, let's try from a high altitude first to see if I can actually do something. I'm already detecting it, but yeah, let's try to fire there. Let's fire four missiles to see if I can hit something. I don't think that first is working. It feels like it's going for the same direction. Oh no, it's actually tracking the other one. So let's see the first one. He hit it. Good. Let's see the second one. He did for... Oh, it, it dive, dove down into the sea. Yeah, great. The third one, completely missed. And the fourth one, completely missed. Oh, no, it, it kind of hit it. So, I don't know. I feel like you are not able to actually hit big targets. Uh, so, I don't know what is happening. But there was something in the files showing that it was kind of impossible to hit something very big. Uh, maybe it's supposed to only lock in small targets because if you try to lock in small targets uh, it just works perfectly where is it uh, here for example let's try with this one let's lose lock just to see if it works so yeah kind of a small boat there let's see feel like it's tracking and yeah perfect hit right so yeah should i mean let's try with those bigger targets again maybe it's the distance i don't know maybe it's a close engagement that you need to do but and those are aren't even that big to be honest they're like kind of small even come on Lock it up. Let's see this one. Yeah, it's a larger ship. As you see, it's a destroyer. And it passed over it. So, I don't know. I feel like the radiation bouncing back from the sh bigger ships are so large that the missile thinks it's a larger target and then it goes upwards for some reason something like that let me try again with this smaller ship and then i will try to 
to get it with the um, the bigger ships. Let's try to hit this again. Let's see. So here is the second one. Here is the first one. Direct hit. Worked perfectly. Let's see the second one again. He's already damaged that one, but still. Yeah, it flies over it. What, what is happening, man? Come on, Gaijin, fix this. Oh, my God. And it, it sometimes goes to the sea. Maybe uh, the only way is actually to try to hit from above. Let's try to hit it from above. And then we will try to shoot down the... Uh, to sink down the carriers. To see if it does anything. Because uh, carriers are the largest target that we have, I think. So, yeah. Let's try with that to actually test it. But let's test uh, diving down on the target. Just to see if it actually kind of works. Let's see. Is it tracking? I think it is. Yeah, if you do this... It almost, almost missed... Um, so, yeah, if you do this, like a dive down kind of thing, uh, it kind of works, but beyond that, in larger ships, it just completely misses. And in smaller ships, it, com it goes directly to the target, which is the funniest thing ever. Let me try again with this type of engagement. Missile. And then we are going to try some uh, sea skimming. Yeah, I mean, it's it's tracking, right? So, yeah. And it's going to hit. But it doesn't do much, you know? It's like kind of a hit round hitting something before that. It's kind of weird. Let's try in a very small boat. Um, to, like, kind of do the sea skimming. And then try to do it with against the, the larger ships as well. To see if I can actually feel a difference. Where is it? There. Let's see. Very low to the ground. I think it's doing well. Let's lose lock to see if the, the INS actually works. And it completely misses. So, yeah, there is the problem. I think um, the Seeker head is actually not working properly. Let's try to do this again and try to maintain a lock to see if it actually works. Uh, but you, you don't need to actually maintain a lock in this missile in real life. So, I don't know about this. I, I really don't. Let's try to turn around. Let's use the same target as before to kind of make it so that it's that one, right? Let's see if I maintain lock. If it actually hits. I'm flying almost faster than the missile. <laughs> yeah, it goes up and it goes down in the proper manner. So, I think you just need to maintain the lock to actually try to hit it. Maybe it's the active radar homing that it's not working properly. Let's try to use it against a larger target like that, those ones to see if I can actually hit a target uh, flying low without it. So, that might be the thing. Still kind of bugged, but uh, at least it feels a little bit more precise you know it's it's weird it really is indeed a weird thing and then we're going to test it out with two targets one trying to lock it and one trying to not lock it to see if i can actually so yeah let's check it out with the larger target 
these missiles are so slow that it will make this video be a very long video see how it's locked in properly and it should be down yeah 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 and it passes over it and misses <laughs> so i guess it's still not working let's see about this completely misses and a small boat let's see it misses as well probably because i'm too close to the target let's try to fire from a further away target maybe even a friendly like that one let's see and then i'm going to try to hit the, the carriers uh, i don't know uh in smaller ships it feels like it's working better but it's still kind of weird see how it's lofting i don't think it should be lofting i don't know it's the weird thing right come on go down missile oh my god yeah it completely misses like come on what are you doing missile why are you going upwards like that and then not being able to actually manage the the thing it doesn't make any sense let's just try it with the with the um with the carriers uh to see if i can actually hit at least a carrier uh, because it is a very large target but if i don't i mean might as well give up a little bit i don't even okay let's fire all the missiles to see if at least one hits So they're trying and they actually hit the target kind of weird two of them or one of them actually went like really high and almost missed but it was i don't know at least he hit it but it is a very large target so i mean it's not like it is very i don't know difficult to actually find such a target let's fire away from further away here to see if i can actually get a kill um just to test it out i mean it's just each missile that i fire it's a different result which is an odd thing maybe you need to fire on a head-on pass on the, sh the ship but i don't know man it feels like it would be just more i don't know better to actually just try to fire from like a side position right Let's see if this hits. They're, they're, they're going, they're going. Come on, go down missiles, yes. Yeah, nice. Good kill. So you only need the four of, the, of them to actually hit it. I don't know. Uh, if you're going to use this raider, maintain a, a lock on the targets it will help a lot for you to get a kill but it is uh, inconsistent you know it is going to be hard and sometimes you will miss a lot i feel like in smaller ships you get a lot more kills so i don't know maybe it's something to do with the seeker i don't know but just maintain the lock anyway it feels like it works a little bit better if you maintain the lock on the target okay on the radar but anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about these missiles. And I see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. See you.